Plant growth is a complex and dynamic process. It is highly regulated, flexible and depends on a network of factors. Plants can dynamically fine tune the performance to environmental conditions. In this module, we will study the plant growth and factors affecting the relative growth. The learning objectives of this module are overview of plant growth dynamics, relative growth rate and specific leaf area, spatial and temporal variation of leaf and root growth, factors affecting relative growth rate, leaf thickness and its relation to relative growth rate. Plant growth is a complex and dynamic process. It is highly regulated flexible and depends on a network of factors. This flexibility is an important feature with which plants can dynamically adjust their performance to environmental conditions. This is seen in terms of variable growth of individual organs. Phenotypic plasticity occurs in response to the temporarily changing and spatially heterogeneous environment. Non-destructive methods and destructive methods such as harvesting plant biomass at different time points are the current available methods to measure plant growth dynamics. Relative growth rate or RGR is the exponential increase in size relative to the size of the plant present at the start of a given time interval. It represents an increment in dry mass Dw per increment in time that is Dt divided by existing biomass W. Averaged over a time interval during which time biomass increases from W1 to W2, RGR can be calculated as the difference in log or the weights at the two time intervals divided by the time interval. RGR can be partitioned into the net assimilation rate or NAR and the leaf area ratio or LAR that is the ratio of leaf area to total plant mass. LAR can also be expressed as a product of specific leaf area or SLA and the leaf mass ratio or LMR which is the ratio of leaf area to leaf mass. Specific leaf area or SLA is the area of a fresh leaf divided by its dry mass and SLA is positively correlated to potential RGR across species. SLA correlates positively to the mass based light saturated photosynthetic rate and with leaf nitrogen concentration and negatively to leaf longevity and carbon investment in quantitatively important secondary compounds such as tannins or lignin. Spatial and temporal variation in leaf growth. Plants actively maintain relative growth rates within the norm of the diurnal or deal variation when external conditions and the driving factors of growth change. Leaf growth rate is seen to fluctuate within the deal cycle. For example, the steady rotation of day and night phases accompanied by strong differences in temperature and humidity during 24 hour leads to a variation of relative growth rate in leaves. Similarly, variation in carbohydrate metabolism in a 24 hour period can induce changes in leaf growth pattern. The temporal sequence of cell elongation in cells of leaves is typically for 7 days as seen in Arabidopsis thaliana or 14 day as seen in Nicotiana tabecum and RGR values are generally within 4% per hour. Besides such temporal dynamics, leaves of dicotyledonous plants also show spatial changes in growth dynamics. Leaves possess growth zones that extend in two dimensions and do not show a clear distinction between dividing and expanding tissue. Cells of the leaf tip are initiated earlier than cells located at the leaf base. Dynamics of root growth is largely dependent on the spatial zonation seen from the apex to base of a root. In the root meristem, which is situated at the tip of the root, expansion growth rate is relatively low as repetitive cell divisions take place at rates ranging from one division per day to one per week. Cell division and regrowth of daughter cells to the initial mother cell size results in a biomass increase by a factor of 2. This accounts for expansion growth rates of less than 5% per hour in the meristematic region. Expansion growth rate increases with the onset of gross cell elongation soon reaching a maximum of approximate 30% per hour in the middle of the growth zone for most species. Cell elongation is typically completed between 6 and 24 hours. 
ink dotted photography of roots or 2D image sequences are some methods used to study spatial and temporal growth analysis of roots. Root systems have high developmental plasticity controlled by intrinsic and response pathways. For example, the degree of branching can change in response to local nutrient availability and determine the ability of the plant to capture and transport resources from the soil. Let us now consider some of the factors affecting the relative growth rate of a plant. Leaves, which are the main sites of photo assimilation, play an important role in whole plant growth dynamics. Dicot species show characteristic deal cycles of leaf growth with the growth intensity varying from day to day. For example, leaves of Nicotiana tabecum and Arabidopsis thaliana showed maximal growth activity in the beginning of the day and the growth rate showed a base to tip gradient. Growth is driven either by cytoplasmic that is related to cell division or vacuolar that is related to cell expansion processes. Some leaves like for example populus show growth by cell division followed by expansion till the leaf attains full size while others like Nicotiana show growth that arises largely due to cell expansion. NAR is relatively insensitive to temperature but RGR is affected indicating that photosynthetic area or LAR rather than photosynthetic performance per unit surface area or NAR is responsible for the decrease in relative growth rate. Data from a variety of plants showing C3 or C4 type of photosynthesis showed that temperature between 32 degree centigrade during day and 21 degree centigrade during night was optimum for whole plant relative growth rate while RGR was lowest at temperatures of 21 degree centigrade during day and 10 degree centigrade during the night. The RGR of C4 species was seen to be higher than that of C3 species, especially under warm conditions. Light intensity also impacts RGR and leaves are generally larger at higher light intensities. Increase in leaf size is because of more cells per unit leaf area and a substantial increase in cell volume. This is seen as greater depth of palisade cells in strong light, which confers a greater photosynthetic capacity and translates into larger values for NAR and a potentially higher RGR. At lower light intensities, leaves are thinner and the specific leaf area SLA increases due to greater leaf area per unit dry mass. At elevated atmospheric CO2 concentrations, C3 plants show lower LAR but a greater NAR which results in higher RGR that is relative growth rate. In C4 plants NAR is reduced under elevated CO2 which leads to a reduction in RGR. Young seedlings in their exponential growth phase are typically most responsive to elevated CO2 and show high RGR under greenhouse conditions where the levels of CO2 are high specific leaf area and leaf thickness. Specific leaf area and leaf thickness are also used in growth analysis besides RGR. As seen earlier, SLA is the ratio of leaf area to its dry mass. While leaf thickness is an important indicator of resource acquisition and use and hence of leaf and plant functioning. Leaf thickness is estimated as a product of SLA and LDMC where LDMC is the leaf dry matter content expressed as leaf dry mass divided by its fresh mass. Leaf thickening has been attributed to longer palisade cells or extra number of cell layers and hence can increase the capacity for area based photosynthesis. Increased carbon partitioning to leaf area growth enhances SLA. SLA has been shown to be determined by genetic and environmental factors and contributes to morphological plasticity. Species in permanently or temporarily resource rich environments like the deserts during the rainy season have a higher SLA than do those in resource poor environments. Hence in temperate herbaceous plants or plants growing under severe nutrient limitation contribution of leaf dry matter content or LDMC to leaf thickness is greater than that of SLA. These slow growing plants show sclerophyllous leaves with low water content. In contrast, succulent plants 
that grow in dry subtropical to tropical areas show greater leaf thickness due to higher SLA and low leaf dry matter content. In species that grow in deeply shaded and nutrient rich areas like oxalis, SLA contributes more to leaf thickness as compared to LDMC. Differences in RGR between plants is very sensitive to variations in parameters related to leaf growth and the proportion of total plant mass invested in leaves. Growth in leaf mass can result from an increase in area or thickness. However, leaf area is not a very reliable parameter to determine plant growth dynamics. Small changes in leaf thickening on the other hand can contribute to significant changes in plant growth. The module can be summarized as Plants are highly dynamic systems and are exposed to spatially and temporally varying environmental conditions. Plants maintain leaf growth rate with diurnal variation when strong external conditions and even driving factors of growth change. New methods help us to understand spatial and temporal processes and previous dogmas such as tip to base gradients of growth have to be revised. SLA is a trait widely used as good indicator of plant functioning. RGR is a fundamental trait for comparative plant ecology and it is one of the component of plant functional strategies. Thank you.